there are many tools we could use for automating our deployments. But today we are going to be checking out GitHub Actions. This is the repository we will be using to test out GitHub Actions. If you don't already know, this repository holds a fast API. And each time we update the code in the main branch of our fast API, we would like to trigger an automation that will automatically deploy a new version of our application to Google Cloud Run. The process for doing this is actually quite simple. First, we need to come over to our GCP account and provision a service account, which is a fancy way of saying access credential. So we will create a service account called how to deploy Dockerize fast APIs to Google Cloud Run. Yes, create and continue, continue, done. And then what we want to do is add a key, download our key. This is our password that will give GitHub the permissions to push new services to our GCP account. So we come back to our GitHub repository. We come over to the settings section and we come over to the secrets and variables section, actions, and we are going to create a new repository secret. We'll paste in our service account credentials, as it's so-called. And the name of this secret will be GCP SA key. Add the secret and the integration work of making GitHub talk to our GCP account has been completed. Now we'll specify the details of our deployment automation or our GitHub action. The way that we do this is by creating a special folder in our project directory called .github. And inside of this .github folder, we place another folder called workflows. Inside of this workflows folder, you can place a YAML file that I believe can be called whatever we like. I have called it CICD.yaml. This is the content that I will use to populate this file with. If we scan this file, we can see it consists of a series of instructions whereby we authenticate to GCP and then issue some instructions that deploy a new service to GCR on our behalf. So let's push this to our GitHub repository and hopefully it works the first time. If we come back to our repository and go over to the actions tab, we can now see an automation is in flight and we can view the build logs in real time. Holy, it worked. So let's come to our endpoint again, which is already loaded here. And if we reload this, it's still working. Now let's do a quick end to end test and let's put a emoji here. Okay. We see another automation has been triggered. Okay, let's reload the service. And now we see our update. You might run into some issues with permissions between GitHub and GCP, or you might run into some permissions issues with your service account and GCP. I included some tips in the GitHub repository for how to add permissions you'll probably need. But if you run into any issues, leave a comment and we made it.